What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we are talking about Deadpool 2. Obviously, Ryan Reynolds in this role is astonishing. He's amazing. He's perfect casting. I was pissed originally that they killed Vanessa off in the first couple minutes of this movie. And I, I do like the very, very beginning where it's Wolverine literally from Logan impaled on a tree stump. And it's kind of like a, what were those old singing jewelry boxes? And it's kind of like dancing around. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, you know, like. What is that song? I, you know what I'm talking about. That singing, you know, thing that you put on with babies so it makes them go to sleep. And it, and it sings to you. And he's like, fuck Wolverine. First, he takes my rated R rating. Then he ups the ante by dying. Well, guess what, Wolvie? I'm dying in this one, too. You know? And I thought that was a good way to start. And it kind of was similar to the first one where it starts and then it flashes back catches you up to that moment and then continues on right so uh, i i do like that style of storytelling i think it's compelling because it gives you more like all right so what the hell is happening oh he's going back he's going to show us what happened how we got to that then he shows you all the way up to it and then he goes oh you're caught up now good and then you go from there and you have the rest of the movie uh, I like Colossus in this movie a lot more. He says fuck, you know, which is hilarious. Um, the little chubby Australian boy. Um, I really should know his name. But Fire Fist. Damn if he's good to be a gangster. You know, I loved him in the, the role. He was so funny. But he was also just like this fat teenager, you know. And he was absolutely right. He goes, you've never seen a fat superhero before? He goes, the mainstream really fucking dis... <laughs> disrespects us <laughs> uh cable in this movie was hilarious uh ryan reynolds with josh brolin so funny the scene where he he goes oh cable's day is gonna get a lot worse and deadpool just kind of throws his hands back and gooch fucking sits on uh, josh brolin's face you're like ah oh, how did they get that shot did he just go brolin lay down i'm gonna put my gooch on your face <laughs> oh god and then we get Juggernaut in this movie. Juggernaut teams up with Fire Fists and rips Deadpool in half, which is so gruesome. So gruesome, but honestly, so funny. He's like, oh my god, oh my god, I can't feel my legs. And then he goes, oh, they're right here. Never mind, I can't. they're right there. You know, it doesn't even use his arms or uses his legs like as a backpack to like carry it. It uses his arms, I think, as a backpack to carry him. Uh, Zaza beats stuff. Domino, she's a great character. Um, how can you make Luck a superhero, a superpower? I don't know, but they did. Uh, the X Force scene is hilarious. I always never see it coming. You know, they're just like this great thunderstruck. They're in this team up montage, and then all of a sudden, Deadpool lands. Whoa! The wind advisory. Whoa! That wind was no joke. And then Shadow Star flies into a helicopter. One guy flies into a weed picker. One guy flies into a bus. Peter lands, and Peter's fine. You're like, Peter's the only one that didn't have superpowers. The Vanisher lands, it's Brad Pitt. You know, like, this. there's parts of this movie that are so freaking funny. But I think the end scene, uh, when Cable and all it joins them to fight up to stop uh, Fire Fist, but also, like, kind of save him if they can, and you get the Deadpool and, and Cable team up, that, that one scene where they're... Best only best friends kill kill pedophiles together, you know. And, and Deadpool's got a shotgun behind the head. Cable's got a shotgun, you know, like and or his just overpowered gun, which is great. I think the look of Cable was actually spot on. Uh, the metal arm I think looks better than Winter Soldier's, and it kind of like goes into his chest and neck. You can see his scar, his light up eye, the gun, you know, like his whole time travel vibe. I thought the actual character of cable was done pretty friggin well he was there to save the daughter he had the the fried bear and then it turns back to a regular stuffed bear at the end meaning that they saved fire fist there you know like but he had to go back in time he goes back like he goes back a couple minutes to save deadpool so cable actually loves deadpool you're like what he they're boys he loves them and deadpool's like oh you did it for me 
I'm gonna flip a coin to see if you did it for me. I'm not even gonna look because you did it for me. You know, <laughs> like Ryan Reynolds, Cable. Uh, I wouldn't be mad if Cable's in Deadpool 3. If he's not, oh well, you know, I'll, I'll take Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds. But I did really like uh, Ryan Reynolds and Josh Brolin in this. I thought they were a good little duo. Uh, four out of five stars for me. Deadpool 2 is an underrated movie, I think, and, and, a, and a one that's slept on but also forgotten about, really, because uh, it's still, like, at the end of Fox days. But with the time travel at the end of Deadpool 2, I think it could tie into Deadpool 3 perfectly and explain why he's in the MCU and not in the Fox universe. Explain why he's killing off the Fox universe. You know, like he's maybe going to tie into Loki Season 2, so I'm keeping my eyes open for a Deadpool cameo in Luke Loki Season 2. I don't know. Uh, you know, there's a pin, there's uh, uh, there's rumors out there that or Loki and Mobius are going to be in Deadpool 3, so I don't know. I would be excited to see all, all of these things happen, but mostly I'm excited for Deadpool 3. You know, like if there's one movie in the MCU that's coming out next year that I'm excited for, it's probably Deadpool 3 is the most, and then it's Captain America Brave New World. But I'm honestly excited for that movie because maybe Steve Rogers comes back. Maybe he's on the moon. Maybe, you know, we don't know. But we know that some shit's going to ha be happening in that movie as well. So, like, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on in the MCU these days, but we'll figure it out Thursday, I guess, when Loki comes back. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, what do you think about Deadpool 2? What did the score you give it out of 5 stars or out of 10 stars, whatever your ranking system is. Follow me on Letterboxd. You can check out my movie reviews over there and see how many movies I've watched this year and the order I've watched them in. So go check that out. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All my links down in the description below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.